Hey guys, welcome back to the show. My name is Ken Marco and this is Marco's Lifestyle. Now today guys, I want to talk to you guys about preventing eczema scarring. I know this is such a difficult thing for a lot of you guys because I am one of those people who struggle with that too. But, you know, like I definitely want you guys to understand that, you know, it is best to talk about prevention than actually talking about cure and i've i've like i've followed with that phil philosophy in my entire like <laughs> life so we'll definitely explore with you guys how to get rid of eczema scarring but today it's mainly about preventing eczema scarring now when you have eczema your skin becomes extremely vulnerable and it's really hard for you guys to not itch your skin because your skin is itching so often. Like, and the funniest thing is that, you know, I don't have long fingernails. I actually cut my fingernails because of that. So that's my number one tip for you. If you have eczema, the number one tip I'm going to give you is that you should cut your fingernails your skin will naturally itch I would suggest for you guys to cut your fingernails and that's my number one tip this is what happens to your skin right your skin is designed in a way where when it gets damaged it's healing it's trying to repair the damage naturally your body repairs itself to be stronger so like when you get like a cut a scar wherever you got that cut or scar is never ever the same again what happens sometimes is there's like a build up of tissue that cause scarring and when you itch and you t you cuz when your when your skin is open and sensitive like that it is it's vulnerable so when you scratch it it tears the skin even more causing your skin to want to heal back stronger than it was before that's what your body does so every time you have a breakout and you scratch that place it causes scarring because your skin is trying to heal stronger than it was before and it produces a lot more tissue that causes the scarring there the next thing i would suggest to you guys is to find a cleansing wipe packet that isn't irritating for your skin you definitely need a skin cleanser that you can use to like clean your face and that will soothe the itching without you actually having to um scratch with your fingernails the next thing i want to point out to you guys is that you should definitely keep your skin clean and moisturized if anything what the reason the number one reason why i can suggest to you that your skin is itching it's because it's dry and you don't want to be applying moisture on moisture with sweat and dirt. So it would be like extremely wise for you guys to bring yourself skin cleansers and moisturizers in your bags. If your eczema is in a state where you're treating it, it's definitely good to bring stuff like that. So when your skin starts to itch, you can just go cleanse your face, cleanse your, you know, your hands, your wherever and get a moisturizer and moisturize because that will definitely get rid of the itching eczema is an allergy like you you can't like you can't eat and drink stuff that flares up your eczema because you are having an allergic reaction that is exactly what it is is when they give you topical steroids now when i had my eczema they gave me topical steroids and it was the scariest thing at first when i started using it it stung like it was crazy it stung my face so bad it hurt and i was just like hell no like nope we're not doing this i'm not doing this i'm not putting no steroids on my face i'm sorry nope um there's some steroids that are good there's some steroids that are bad the problem with cer certain topical steroids that they'll give you when i did my research is that it thins out the skin and that your skin again is trying to like rebuild itself the more you put that that steroid on your skin the more it kind of how do i say it thin it makes your skin a lot thinner the thing with the product that i use the mercy ointment is that it's not uh 
a topical um it's not a steroid it's a topical cream but it's not a steroid so you should definitely watch out for that if you are allergic to steroids being on your skin or steroids in just in general then talk to your dermatologist and let them know they can do a skin test to see how your skin will react to steroids because that's something that you guys should definitely watch out for that can really cause scarring the next thing I want to point out to you guys is that when you have eczema, you cannot do stuff like skin, pe the chemical peel. Um, <laughs> you cannot do a chemical peel anywhere between six months of your eczema clearing up or your eczema being, you're working on clearing it up because a skin peel again will re-expose your skin to so many like ailments like it's crazy and uh, that chemical peel will definitely damage your skin so you know for people with eczema if you want to do a chemical peel and a chemical peel is a good way so this is the segue into how to get rid of scarring now if you guys have um, eczema and your skin is like oh, six months after clear, clearing up and you guys want to get rid of scarring that has happened, a chemical peel is a brilliant way to go. What you have to do is you have to tell the doctor that is going to do this chemical peel that you've had eczema, it's clear, it's gone, you know, you have it under control because then you have to make sure whatever whatever products you're using to keep your eczema at bay is compatible with the products that they're going to give you to make your skin heal from a chemical peel. There's also this other procedure that I completely forgot, I apologize, but there's this procedure where you go to the doctor and they do like a laser therapy and it, it slowly gets rid of the scarring. I would say a chemical peel is the is the fastest way to go because that that could take anywhere from six months to two years to completely get rid of whatever scars you have and especially if you have multiple scars on your face a, a chemical peel might be the best way for you to go if you have scarring on other parts of your body then and if they're major like huge scarring then you might need to just go speak to a dermatologist and a plastic surgeon and that's the best way I can that's the best advice I can give you so if you guys found this informative helpful leave me a comment down below you know skincare is one of the major things I talk about on this channel so leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like share and subscribe guys until next time my name is Ken Marco peace